Welcome back to Grit Gym. This is the Rachel and Adam show where we talk about all things regarding your health in terms of your relationship. And if you go through this thing together, if you go through working out, getting clear with your nutrition, your recovery, your sleep, in terms of your like your sleep and how you're going to go through your day and helping each other get over stressful situations. And uh, what's the last one? Oh, and your mindset stuff. You go into that together, then you grow as a couple and you grow as an individual. I'm a little bit more of a thinker and Rachel's a little bit more of a feeler. So we get two different perspectives on the show. We try to well, I, I, like I try to play devil's advocate, but I always don't do. I don't always do a great job. But anyway, we're talking about love languages today. You want to nail me with the five? What are they? Well, the love languages. If if people don't know, it's like a book that um, it, it was a merit by a marriage counselor, I believe, and he came up with these five common reasons why people were not feeling loved because mm. they have five different languages. So the five languages. Yeah, it was a it was a medium that they didn't. Hold on. <laughs> Is someone getting a call? Oh. oh, I accepted it. She answered a call. But the five love languages were like, what's your lang? What's the language that you use to communicate your affection, your love, your yes. care for the other individual? And this person came up with the book. They came up with five different ways. Um, and we're gonna go. So what are the five? I don't yeah. know. Like if you have kids, it wouldn't include, like, and you're trying to be with just your spouse, it wouldn't include your kids because when you're kids, you're actually co-parents. You're not. Yeah, exactly. You're co-parents. You're not actually, you're, um, you're a different level of your relationship. Or Whereas, even like, if you're watching a movie, that's technically not quality time because it's interrupted. It's supposed to be uninterrupted time together. Yeah, like this isn't what we would consider quality time. It could be a form of it, but it's not uninterrupted quality time like I enjoy your company without anything else around and you enjoy my company without anybody else around <laughs> or anything any distraction right, right. partners and you don't know that yes. and you're constantly trying to show them love in the way that you like receiving love yes then they will not feel like they're being loved because you're not showing them their love language yeah so say um say your husband is out doing the lawn and and mowing the grass and and vacuuming and cleaning and blah 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 and you're just like oh he won't spend any time with me you mean you know like I mean? If the, if he's the, showing his love yeah. he's thinking he's showing his love by doing acts of service, which is probably something that he enjoys himself, but really her her love language is quality time. All she wants is to be shown. Yeah. Like that and time that they spend together is important to him. Yeah, and a lot of people, I think this is where the error, I think like right there is where the big error is. And most people are like, no, they just need to know each other's language and then everything will be fine because no. then he'll spend quality time and she'll
Yeah. If you are constantly looking for what you're missing, then you're mm -hmm. you're missing out on the things that you are being given as yeah. far as the affection. Yeah, and I think that that's the in your scenario where the 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 wife was quality time and the the husband was uh, acts of service, and he mm -hmm. keeps showing her acts like doing acts of service, but she's not seeing it, and she's they're quality missing, time. They're then missing she the mark plays the she each time. like in your scenario she made she played the victim game of like why doesn't he want to spend any time with me he should know this and it's like one maybe you didn't ask this is also an exaggerated like we're, we're not thinking Clarity. Any, yeah we're just thinking yeah I don't think extreme anybody... examples so that we can see like just the little tiny things that we kind of just miss that our spouse may do just to show us that they care um, we want to be able to acknowledge that and. scenario but yeah I mean uh, along well do you want to talk real about quick what? can you guys put your love language down below if you know what it is if it's acts of service uh, like think of the like try to think through all five of them and go if someone did something really nice for me would I just like if someone touched me on the back would I just melt if someone said uh, you know gave me a compliment would I just be like oh my gosh that felt so good if uh, what are the others so it's acts of service well, quality time if just spending time with Or, uh, yeah, but like knowing these and knowing what your partner is is wanting as well is, I think it's pretty beneficial. Super beneficial. If that could be like the one thing that changes, I mean, I would hope that it wouldn't hurt anybody's relationship to know these. <laughs> I've never seen, uh, Joanne and I were talking about this last night or the night before, and we were talking about mm -hmm. like, has there ever been, I guess it's Tuesday, so we were talking about last night, has there ever been a situation where more knowledge was actually bad? It's like... Sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, <laughs> it depends on the knowledge, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. I There's suppose. Certain like, things there's that certain would rather things where it's know. just like I found out and I was like, oh, God. 
Yeah. yeah, never mind. Wait, okay, so who is the author? a fault in then you get to capitalize on it or you get to uh, work on it and try to improve upon it and you find out a virtue it's like okay well I can capitalize upon that virtue well if um, you're working super hard at doing this thing like the the guy outside doing all the if he's working super hard trying to get the point across that he loves his wife he's doing mm -hmm. this for her when he all he needs to do is spend some time with her wouldn't you think that you would want to totally understand that yeah yeah and she would too, I would think. Mm -hmm. I, like, uh, if it wasn't getting, like, it would really kill me inside if you thought that you weren't, that I didn't care about you. Like, that would suck it would, so I bad. Think anybody it's like, what the hell are we doing like this for? Too. Yeah, they'd be like, why are you in a relationship then? Yeah, if, if someone that was in a relationship said, I, I never feel any sort of. People that don't, like that's the number one, like aside from marriage, marriage is the number one cause of divorce. But aside from marriage, the number one reason for divorce is that my spouse does not pay attention to me. Mm -hmm. They didn't pay attention to the relationship or they didn't pay attention to the spouse. So one or the other, that's the number one reason. And so if you're going to have a great, incredible relationship, you have to pay attention to each other. Yeah, well that also happens, I know, with getting having kids too it kind of takes the attention away from mm -hmm. so if your your thing is quality time and and i don't know what are the you other only ones? spend quality time yeah if the quality time is all of a sudden shifted to just yeah. the kids then that's a big yeah that's a big red flag that I, person is going to feel absolutely no affection <laughs> and I, like would you how would you feel if that was what your spouse was feeling yeah, all of a sudden, sudden, just because of your kids, that's, obviously um, you want to spend time with your kids. And I think that's like a like a deep like kind of thing that I can't see that is one of the reasons for not wanting you to get a dog. Oh my god! Where I'm like I'm like no, I'm gonna be selfish. I want <laughs> like <laughs> like I want her to me still. Like I don't I don't want to be like dividing this up with a goddamn dog jumping in between us when we're on, you know watching a movie or something. Like no, yeah. just, well that's like a kid. Yeah, I'm being a kid at that point. A kid would only be worse. <laughs> yeah, a kid would only be worse, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I was listening to this conversation the other day. <laughs> Basically, this uh, um, the wife and the husband were fighting because she wouldn't go get him something. And she's like, no, you go get it yourself. And then he, was, then he also asked, hey, can you hang out with me and like pay it pay attention to me and she's like oh okay right after I'm done working on this thing and then the kid comes in and says mom help me with this and she's like okay and then she leaves and he's like what the hell like in that moment he yeah. he was asking what her he was asking liver? her over and over again for her affection for her yeah. her love and I mean I mean if you have a relationship without love and affection what do you have I don't know. Um, that's not a very fun relationship. I don't think it's a relationship at that point anymore. It's something. Is it? It depends to... on how you define relationship, but yeah. Um, but like, I don't want to be in a situation like that. Mm -mm. Well, at that moment, it might have seemed like no, go get it yourself. But he wasn't even. It wasn't about the thing he was asking her to go get. Yeah. It was about 
her doing we, something nice for him. I think people, like just humans in general, across the board, I think we do that kind of stuff more often than we think. Where yeah. mm-hmm. we're like, like one time, this is kind of funny, but like I hadn't been home in a while. You know, I, I, like I tend to kind of go workaholic and I just work and work and work and work and work. Lose all track of people in my life. Like don't talk to my parents, like, bar- like barely see her. You know, like I just get in this space where it's just like, I don't see people for like months. And uh, it was snowing outside, and I happened to my lawn. The lawnmower here, uh, my lawnmower had happened to break down. This is a long time ago, and uh, so I used my dad's, uh, and he came up to. He was like, "Hey, I'm up here. In other, I'm up here in another city. I'm going to come by and grab that lawnmower." Like it, it was snowing outside. He didn't need the lawnmower. He just was coming by. He just wanted to see his son, right? Oh, yeah. And I was just like straight up in, but he needed an excuse. Like, I think we all do that on some level. We just, he wanted to spend some time with his son. And I was like, I'm working right now. I got to go. He and I didn't even think about it until like how to say, weeks later. Out. Yeah. Till like weeks later, I was like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a jerk. You know? Well, kind of the same thing. Like, yeah, it doesn't have to be like a loving, like a romantic relationship. It's with friends and family too. Mm-hmm. Like with my sister, how I told you, we didn't get along for like two or three years um, because, and then all of a sudden, like some of her friends started, we were basically in the same grade. So obviously we have some mutual friends. Yeah, you're a year apart. She would same. see her friends hanging out with me and she would just get furious. And I thought it was because she thought that I was taking her friends, but it was because I wasn't hanging out with her. Yeah. And I would, I would invite them to come and hang out with us just so that we could have like a third wheel and it wasn't just me and Elena just like hanging out. Like I thought she didn't want to hang out with me, but really she wanted me all to herself. Mm-hmm. And I didn't notice it until two of my friends like pointed it straight out to me. And I was like, no, what are you talking about? No, that doesn't make sense. She doesn't like me. She just doesn't like me. She just is annoyed with me. But... But really, she, was, the she second, was looking for your attention. Yeah, I asked yeah. her. They were like, just call her up and ask her to go to a movie by yourselves. You have to say by yourselves. And I was like, oh my God, how awkward. <laughs> <laughs> like, how would you feel if the person that you thought didn't like you was going to go on a, to a movie with you? You know what I mean? To me, it, it, I but wasn't it's, convinced It's confusing, yet. though, because... No, it's very like, confusing. She didn't know how to ask for attention. Like, like Except how do any mean. of us do? And so yeah. she would like be mean to you because it was the only way that she could get your attention and that worked and it's like, and, but you're, the message that came through to you was like, she's being a terrible person to me. She must hate me. When really she was just like, why can't we hang out anymore? Yeah. It was like the it's biggest you were just revelation young, dumb teenagers, but with my sister relationship, I guess it was insane. Yeah. We're, uh, What'd she say? Aaron said, Shaw said that mine are a tie between quality time and words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. What are well speaking of which, what are yours? What, what's, what's I wanted yours? to ask you first. <laughs> you want to ask me? I'm like I'm a full blown quality time, like like uh, words don't believe them. Um, qual- mm. uh, acts of uh, acts of service, I'm like ah oh, crap. Now I'm obligated to you. Gifts, I'm obligated to you. Um, what's the other one? Um, acts of service. No. Oh, touch. Physical touch. touch. Like I would say that physical touch and quality time are by far my biggest two. But. Um. I'd say oh wow! He, it, Aaron said that she the the author wrote a book on it for kids. Oh, I'd cool. like to pick that up. That's cool. Interesting. Like for the kids to read or about kids? Good question. Yeah, is it know. for the parents about kids? But that's the thing too. They were saying like the um, what was the one uh, receiving gift?
side by side um, and you ask people which one is the better one, uh, if the only thing that they, they change is they increase the size of the pupil slightly, uh, almost everybody will pick the one with the bigger pupil. Because she's more attractive? Yeah, because she's more attractive. Isn't that like a, it's like a it's sexual thing, right? A sexual thing? Well, like, it's an attraction thing. Well, when, well, yeah, but when you have, uh, like when you're aroused, you're, yeah. your pupils Yeah, dilate. it's the same reason that you put black, that you have. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's a nice thing. What did Joanne say? No, Aaron. She said it's about kids. No, it's not for kids. Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Joanne said acts of service and quality time. Not real big talkers in my family. <laughs> Imagine that. True. Well, quality time is like quality it can time be can be silent. Like, sit. Well, it can also be like sitting and talking. Mm -hmm. Like not just hanging out and staring into Whoa, each creep. other's eyes. You and I, guys, I'm all, I'm down for. Brain is just like, and it's going nuts over all of them because it's like twelve different pers like people trying to analyze the one thing, and I'm controlling all of them. I get it. I get it. And it's it. really, really difficult, uh, but it's it's super fun at the same time. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> that's uh, that's like muskrat. Stop from meet the fuckers when one of them wanted to stop the other one from talking. Muskrat this is like stop talking. I don't.
They're like, you have to add consequence to a kid's action. Kids need consequence. And then the other side, they say, no, you need to lavish the praise on all the good stuff that they do. And it's like, it's not an either or. It's a both. You have to do both of those yeah. things. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm um, not saying. And so there has to be consequence, but there also has to be, that's like, like people keep them che themselves in check pretty well. Like if somebody does something stupid, somebody goes, like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be much, but at least it keeps them in check from being a total jackass. Yeah. Which, so Somebody is giving you their their form of their love, love language and you don't ever acknowledge it, they're not going to want